Hey, brothers and sisters, how's it going today? It's the spring, man. I don't know what you're doing in here. It is spring out there. And after all these speeches, you're going to hear another speech. And I just want to say what an honor it is to be able to speechify at you. Because this particular Federation of Labor in our country has led many charges. I've learned so much from the sisters and the brothers in the healthcare unions, UNA and HSAA, from the electrifying electrical workers, from people working in fast food and service. Honestly, you guys are at the front end, ed, end of the new normal in this country. And if I am prescient, which is an awesome word, if I am prescient, it's because I'm listening, as your federation is listening, to what is happening on the ground across this province. It's by listening to one another that we understand what's coming down the road together. And I cannot uh, tell you how disappointing it was to actually hear Gil's speech this morning, because Gil actually writes a great speech, says all the things that need to be said. Really, you don't need to hear many other speeches, but just a reminder, and I don't want to sound really sycophantic, but there aren't too many presidents of federations of labor like this in the country. And if every fed of labor, if every house of labor, was led like this and had its affiliates engaged like this, the labor movement would be a categorically different thing in this country. So, awesome dude. Awesome dude, awesome dudes, awesome dudettes, and brothers and sisters. It is not enough. And you know, this is probably the guy or some smarty pants in the communications department decided that the theme of the conference is going to be standing on guard. Well, you know, that's like, that is so Canadian and it's so awesome to have Alberta, Firewall Alberta, talking about being standing on guard for Canada. It's great, but you know what? Standing on guard is not enough. Do we know this? Do we know that it's not enough to stand on guard? It's time to stand up. It's time to stand up for the people who make Canada what it is today and the people who are going to make Canada what it is going to be tomorrow. When we stand up for our rights as workers, our rights in law that are violated day in and day out across this beautiful country, we are standing up for our rights as citizens and our democracy because we stand up against the plutocrats every time we stand up for our rights as workers. We stand up against those people who are unelected, who are wealthy, who really do rule the world and can't get enough of ruling the world some more. Their dreams, their dreams, brothers and sisters, dudes and dudettes, their dreams come at the expense of your future and your children's future. And that is not the last 40 years. That is not the last hundred years. That has been the story of economic growth. And we had this window of time when that wasn't the only narrative. And we're going to get it back because that's the arc of history. And that's why we have to stand on guard and stand up 